Hello and here are the latest global LGBTI news headlines from Pink 60. Tasmania's Registry Office staff wore lanyards in the colours of the transgender flag on Thursday to celebrate the enactment of historic new trans and gender diverse reforms. Advocates say the new provisions and protections are some of the best in the world. A top Canadian appeals court has heard how a father opposed to his child's gender transition erred into the realm of family violence. The father, in association with an anti-trans group, publicly denied his son's identity and refused to engage in dialogue. Zimbabwe's saviour from colonial rule turned corrupt and homophobic dictator Robert Mugabe has died aged 95. Mr Mugabe presided over one of the most corrupt periods in his country's history, finally being ousted from power in 2017. FIFA has announced the contenders for its Diversity Champion Award, which will be presented on September 22nd. The Football Mass Foundation, Play Onside and Watoto Wasoka all work to promote inclusion and tolerance with disadvantaged children. India is marking the first anniversary of decriminalisation today and to celebrate Rainbow Riots have released the final track from their inaugural album, featuring India's first out gay rapper, Tropical Marker. So let's end with a little Tropical Queen and we'll be back again next week with more LGBT news from around the world. I attack with maximum impact, now this track, ain't no distract, no trying to distract.